Today I'm going to be taking a closer look at five everyday carry flashlights. We have the Lumitop EDC01, the Astrodox A01, the Lumitop Tool AA2.0, the Lumitop EDC18 and the Nikron N7. I'm going to go through some technical specifications first of all and then we'll get them outside in the garden in the dark and do some real world testing. Okay, so first up we have the Lumitop EDC01. It's got a uh, diffuse lens. It's got a little clip on the bottom so you can put a keychain on. You turn it on by turning the head of the torch. When you turn it on, it comes on its last setting. It's got a bit of a memory effect in it. So that's 120 lumens. You drop it down to 32 lumens. That's 5 lumens. Back to 120 lumens. Supposedly, this has got a 37 meter beam and it's IP68 rated. So that's the Lumen Top EDC01 and I'm running it currently on just a standard uh, energizer, non-rechargeable AAA battery, which is probably the best thing you can do with these little uh, keychain torches. Okay, next up we've got the Astrolux A01, which takes a AAA battery. It's got a slightly orange peel texture to the reflector. Put a keychain on the bottom if you want to. When you turn it on, it comes on its lowest brightness, which is just 0.14 lumen. Uh, next one would be 7 lumen, and then finally its brightest setting is 102 lumen. And then if you put it on and off six times, you actually get a strobe as well, if that's any use to you. Um, I've been running this on a standard um, Energizer lithium battery, uh, just a AAA lithium battery. This is uh, IPX8 rated. It gives a beam of 42 meters apparently, and I paid about seven pounds for it on eBay. So that's the Astrolux A01. Okay, here we have the Lumitop Tool AA version two, which is a great torch. It's the one I actually carry with me every day at work. It's got a uh, clear lens. It's got a button on the bottom. It's got a clip for your uh, belt here, and uh, when you turn it on, it's got a memory, so it comes on the last brightest setting that you were using it on, which is this is in the particular case is a lowest setting of 16 lumens, 85 lumens, 360 lumens, and you've got a turbo of 650 lumens, and then back to the uh, standard 16 lumens. And uh, supposedly you can put it under water one and a half meters for one hour, so it'd be 68 rated, and it will throw the beam 127 meters according to Lumen Top. Um, I'm using it with a lithium battery. Um, this is a uh, Key Power 14500, which is I uh, highly recommend. They seem to last forever. These things do, absolutely brilliant. Um, but you can just as well use it with a uh, standard uh, AAA, uh, AA nickel metal hydride battery. You do get a drop in power, however, in brightness. So you now go down to um, 4 lumens, 28 lumens. 140 lumens and 270 lumens on turbo but to be honest with you it's still perfectly usable so uh, absolutely fine using this with a standard AA battery so that's the Lumentop Tool AA2 okay this is the Nikron N7 paid about £15 for this it's an IP65 rated torch and it supposedly has a beam of 126 meters it's got a uh, clear lens with a little uh, glowing o-ring around the outside and it's got a magnetic tail which is a very useful um, clip which probably isn't quite so useful but it has the rotating head and that is um, a fantastic feature on this torch um, only two levels of brightness so when you turn it on it comes on at uh, 600 lumens and then you've got a lower setting of 130 lumens 600 lumens 130 lumens if you hold it down you get a crazy sort of strobe light mode and press it again you get an SOS mode if those are useful to you but uh, generally just stick with the standard um, 130 and 600 lumens you can run this on a uh, for those high figures you need to run this on a uh, lithium battery 14500 which is what I'm using um, again the key power 14500 which is very good or just as easily you can put in a um, standard nickel metal hydride double-A battery and if you do that you lose a little bit of brightness and it will now go down to um, 250 lumens on its full power and uh, 40 lumens on its low power so 250 40 lumen and it still does the strobe and SOS if you wanted to so that's the uh, Nikron N7 
Okay, here we go. This is the Lumatop EDC18, which is the most expensive torch I'm uh, reviewing. It's an IPX8 rated torch. Supposedly throws its beam 200 meters on the high setting. Got a luminate, uh, illuminated Lumatop logo, which helps you find it in the dark. Three LEDs, clear lens, uh, magnetic tail there, which is very, very useful, and a good quality pocket clip. You uh, turn it on with one button, turn it on. Um, and you can then ramp the um, power up to the maximum which is 760 lumens and ramp it right the way down to the very minimum which is 3.6 lumens uh, at any point when you're using it if you double click it it boosts right up to its turbo which is 2800 lumens um, if you prefer a um, stepped increments you can click it three times and now it'll go up seven increments to its highest level of 760 lumens and seven increments down to its low level of 3.6 lumens. Um, I'm running it on a 18650 non-protected lithium battery and uh, they recommend you use the Sony VTC6 which apparently this is uh, and uh, works very well. So that's the uh, Lumitop EDC18. Okay we're now out in the garden and uh, first up it's the Astrolux A01 on full power. That fence in the background is exactly 15 meters away and the camera has got a fixed uh, exposure so you can compare all the torches. Moving on we have the Lumitop EDC01 on full power. And here we have the Lumitop on the left and the Astrolux on the right, just for comparison purposes. Next up we have the Lumen AA with the 14500 lithium battery on full power and then on turbo. Now we have the Lumintop AA with the nickel metal hydride battery on full and then turbo. And now we have the Lumintop AA lithium on the left versus the Lumintop AA with a nickel metal hydride battery on the right hand side. And yes, I do have two of these torches which are identical. Now we've got the Nikron N7 on high power. And now we've got the Lumitop AA Lithium on Turbo on the left versus the Nikron N7 on High Power on the right hand side. Now we've got the EDC18 ramping up to its highest setting. And then into Turbo mode and then back to High. And then finally, I've got a comparison between the Lumitop AA Lithium on the left-hand side on turbo mode, 650 lumen, versus on the right-hand side, the EDC-18 on high, 760 lumens. Okay, what have we learned about these torches? Um, the two AAA torches. Uh, they're nice and small, they're well made, they're fairly cheap and they give very levels, uh, very similar levels of light output. The Lumitop is smaller and uh, I'm not impressed that the Astrolux always turns on at its lowest level setting because with these torches you're probably going to want them at their maximum brightness most of the time. Um, the Lumitop has a memory so it comes on wherever you've left it so if I had to choose one of the AAA I'd probably go for the Lumitop um, but more importantly for just a few pounds more you can go to the AA torches and you get a big step in performance. The two AAA torches will give you just over 100 lumens each. The two AA torches will give you at least 250 lumens using just a nickel metal hydride battery. And if you go up to a lithium 14500 battery, you'll get at least 600 lumens out of these two AA torches. Um, in terms of the two AA torches, uh, they both give very similar levels of light output. The Nikron is a slightly more focused beam. Lumitop is smaller though, and it's got a better button action 
and it feels more solid than the Micron. You also get a separate diffuser with the uh, lumen top, which you can pop on there, and um, you can use that to illuminate a room. Uh, Nikon is much more flexible with its rotating uh, head and magnetic tail and you can literally set it at any angle you need and whenever I'm doing a job in my garage or my car etc uh, I always use a Nikon torch but um, as an everyday torch um, just to carry around me at work I always carry the lumen top. Uh, finally the EDC18 uh, well clearly the brightest torch by a huge margin you're going to get 2800 lumens and you've got a massive range of functions and adjustments various extremely bright flashing modes, candle modes etc but I think once you've played around with all these a few times they're just gonna, not going to get used that much. The only feature I use often is the battery level check which is very good you just click it three times and two three one two three four five six seven eight three point eight volts um, it's a very useful feature and also the uh, Lumen Top logo itself is illuminated which is just a handy feature so you can find the torch in the dark but you know under normal use it's only about as bright as the AA torches 760 for the uh, EDC18 versus about 650 for the AAA torches and the 2800 Lumen um, turbo mode only lasts about 10 seconds and then the torch will get hot and uh, ramp the power down so considering it's three times more expensive than the uh, AA torches, I'm not so sure it's such, actually that uh, good value. Obviously which of these torches suits you will depend on your personal usage and circumstances, but of the torches here I would definitely recommend the two AA models. They're both excellent value, you could buy the and use a standard 1.2 volt little metal hard drive battery initially as I did and then later upgrade to a 3.7 volt 14500 lithium battery with a suitable charger to give you the extra boost in performance. Uh, 14500 batteries you can pick up for about £7 each and the charger costs about £10. Of the two I'd favour the Nikron as a household task type torch and the Lumen Top as an everyday carry torch. In fact it's the white Lumen Top uh, tool AA version 2 that I carry as my work torch and it's absolutely brilliant. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If it's been useful to you please give me a thumbs up.